Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. On the run moment, crossbow killer Kyle Clifford flees scene with three-foot weapon after murdering BBC star's wife and two daughters. The clip shows a man carrying the huge object under his right arm under a sheet as he strides from an alleyway leading to the property in Bushy, Hertfordshire. Dressed all in black, he was also filmed carrying a bag cop's fear could be a cache of Kyle Clifford's further weapons. Carol Hunt, 61, the wife of BBC Racing commentator John Hunt and their daughters Louise, 25, and Hannah, 28, were later found inside. The man in the footage then climbs into a black seat, the same car understood to have been found abandoned earlier today. That discovery led cops to Enfield, where armed officers were searching for the suspect. A source said, you can see clearly from the outline of what is under the sheet that it is in the shape of a crossbow, but it's massive. When we first heard the weapon was involved, no one thought it might be that big, it makes you wonder where he got it from. The way he is walking is with clear intent, he is moving to get to his car as fast as he can while still walking. He was clearly carrying plenty of equipment, but if you were on the street, you would never assume it was a deadly weapon. A full-size crossbow could shoot bolts accurately up to 250 feet, raising the terrifying prospect victims may not even see their shooter before being hit. In the clip, the man believed to be Kyle Clifford climbs into the black car and waits for 18 seconds before driving away westbound on Bushy Grove Road towards. The road is directly connected to the murder scene on Ashland Close, by a pedestrian footpath. The black seat from the footage is believed to form part of the ongoing investigation. Hertfordshire police said, a vehicle has been located and is being investigated. A spokeswoman added, we cannot comment any further at this time. The three women are the wife and two daughters of BBC Five Live Racing commentator John Hunt, the broadcaster confirmed this afternoon. They have been identified as John's 61-year-old wife Carol and their daughter Hannah and Louise. John had been working at Lingfield Park Racecourse in Surrey yesterday, before returning home in the evening to discover the horror that had unfolded, it is understood. Mail Online reports Clifford was the ex-boyfriend of one of Hunt's daughters. Dramatic footage obtained exclusively by The Sun this afternoon showed cops storming a home in the hunt for the suspect. Two helicopters were spotted circling the Hilly Fields area of Enfield, North London, as armed police stormed a home. One officer can be heard screaming, Armed police, come to the door and raise your hands as cops barrage through the front of the property. It is unclear who or what cops discovered in the home, but at least two officers are still at the scene of the raid. A source said, it's a really heavy response, and shocking for everyone to see. They charged in and spent quite a while in the home. It didn't seem like anyone was there. In a press conference at 12.30 p.m., Hertfordshire police said they were still hunting for the suspect. The force confirmed Clifford, who is from Enfield in North London, may still be armed and urged anyone who sees him to call 999 immediately. They also said it is believed he may be in possession of a crossbow and may have used other weapons in the targeted attack. Children at a primary school in Enfield have been kept indoors as police search for the triple murder suspect. Appealing directly to Clifford today, Detective Superintendent Rob Hall said, Kyle, if you are seeing or hearing this, please make contact with police via 999. Hearts Police have told anyone who was in Ashland Close from lunchtime yesterday to come forward to call 101, quoting up in Fauna. DSI Rob Hall said, This is an incredibly difficult incident for the victim's family, and we would ask that their privacy is respected as they come to terms with what has happened. Whilst we are still in the early stages of this investigation, we are actively seeking Kyle Clifford, who we believe could be in the areas of Hertfordshire or North London. Given the serious nature of the incident, I would ask anyone who knows where he is to contact police immediately. If you believe you see him, please do not approach him and dial 999 straight away. He may still be in possession of a weapon. Enfield Council said, You will be aware of the news of the suspect Kyle Clifford from the Enfield area, wanted in relation to a triple murder in Bushy. We have been advised by the police that there is no perceived threat to the public, so the guidance is to carry on as normal. Local schools have been advised that end-of-day school procedures should continue as per normal. There will be an enhanced police presence in the area and around some schools to provide reassurance to pupils and parents. It comes after horrified neighbors told of hearing screams last night. Francis Turner told The Sun, My husband and I were watching the football when we heard sirens and shouting. 
There were around 30 policemen outside. There were armed police. They came and knocked on our door and told us to stay inside and keep our doors shut. My heart goes out to them. I feel very sad for the family, my heart goes out to them. One neighbor, who didn't want to be named, said they heard screaming before at least 16 police cars swooped on the scene. They added, it was between 6.30 p.m. and 7 p.m. last night and it literally just sounded like kids, somebody, screaming, and then it was more shrill and I was like, that's definitely a woman screaming, and within 15 minutes, it was absolute chaos. We had armed police running down, screaming, stay in your house. They shut us off and basically put us into lockdown. Another local Derek Turner, who took a photo of armed cops outside, said, it's a very quiet and peaceful area, it's close to everything, when a house comes up it's gone. Shocked neighbors said Louise ran a dog grooming business, called Groom and Glow, from the detached house in a cul-de-sac. Local resident William Nurala paid tribute to the beautiful young girl. He said, she was a gorgeous girl. She really was a young, hard-working girl. I met the mom once or twice, because she opened the door for me. I met the father. She was happy every time I saw her. We would have a laugh and a joke. She was a beautiful young girl. It's a waste of a life. Source, thesun.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.